All right, what's going on everybody? It's Lendo2k. In this video, we're gonna go through my A plus entry checklist. So we'll just hop straight into it. This is what I'm looking for. First, you have to have a narrative as to why price is going to go where it's going to go. Second is I need a higher time frame PD array. So I kind of put those two together. So that could be a fair value gap, order block, breaker, anything like that. And then for the second thing I need to see is SMT. If you haven't, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link up in the top right where you can click on to my video on SMT. But essentially it's just a crack in correlation and it's my first clue that smart money is getting involved. And if smart money is involved, then I want to be involved. After that, I'm looking for lower time frame market structure to support my idea. So I want to see market structure shift on the lower time frames that supports my higher time frame narrative. So if I'm looking for bullish prices and we're dipping into a higher time frame PD array, then I want to see the lower time frame market structure and SMT at the lows and a market structure shift back bullish on the lower time frames. After that, I need time to align, right? So at the minimum, we need to be in a kill zone and I prefer that we're in a macro. And then last, we need an entry model with sound risk management. That's just gonna keep you alive in this game. If you don't know how to manage risk, you're not gonna last very long. So jumping into the hourly chart here, this is from May 10th, Wednesday. It was a CPI report day. And this is a trade that I took. So we're gonna dive into this. So this is our higher time frame on the hourly. I like to treat my hourly like a daily chart and then trade on the lower time frames because I'm mostly a day trader. I will swing occasionally, but not very often. So here we have a one hour breaker block. So I've drawn that out here and you can see it's a breaker. We took out all this sell side below all these lows and it will be the last up candle before that down move that sweeps liquidity. All right, so going into the 15 minute chart here, you can see we had this down move that created our one hour breaker. We have some sibbies in here that got overtaken by Abyssy. All right, this is the CPI candle. We got ran through all these sibbies with this one busy. So these sibbies will come into play as inversions when they, when price returns back. That's what this line is. It's just the high of this sibby and you can see it was respected to the tick. Also, I wanna note that you can see from this low to this high, this isn't a discount of this range from low to high. So if you put a fib on here, it, we would be below the 50% down here. So we wanna get long in a discount if we're looking to go long and we wanna shorten a premium. All right, so we're going to jump into the lower time frames and look at what took place within this fractal here. All right, so first thing I want to note is ES made a low here and then made a lower low. Now I'm going to click over to NQ. You can see NQ made a low here and a higher low. So there's our SMT. That's our first clue that we need to be getting involved in price action. After that, I'm looking for market structure shift, right? So we have a SIBI here. We have an intermediate term high and we break through that with a BISI. This is very important because when price touches back into this old SIBI that was broken, it's gonna act as support now. And that was my entry here. As we wick back down, this is called immediate rebalance. So you have immediate rebalance and you have deferred rebalance. So this would be immediate. And if it came up here and then came back down and tested it, that would be deferred rebalance. If you, ha if you have any questions on that, we can go out over it at a later video. But I just wanna go through this trade right now. This was my entry here. This will be your first partial above here. And then you would go look for a premium of this range from high to low. And that's up in here. Obviously it hit it. And that's where I closed the trade and I'll tell you why. It's because while ES was moving into a premium, NQ had already taken out the high here. So that let me know that we could potentially reverse from here and we did, but we got out in time, so it's all good. And now I'll just show you the executions here. This is on NinjaTrader on one of my funded accounts. This was taken right before I closed the trade. I took a partial off above here, and then I was just waiting, watching NQ as it took out that high, and that's where I closed this last contract off. But you can see I entered right, right in that same area. That's my A plus entry checklist on ICT concepts. That's what I use every day. It's worked well for me. Hopefully it'll work well for you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Follow me over on Twitter. I post on there every day and I'll catch you guys in the next video.